Ottawa Fury FC are set for the championship final at Hofstra University when they take on the New York Cosmos as both sides challenge for the Soccer Bowl of 2015. I'm happy to be joined by Ottawa Sun columnist Chris Hoffley and from Unique FM, Sinisha Sindic. Uh, gentlemen, let's kind of break things down for what we expect from this game. Sinisha, first starting with you. Uh, what we've seen from Fury FC, just a, a model of consistency in the fall season. What goes into the preparations for this one, uh, knowing that they're coming against the New York Cosmos side that have the, the likes of Raul and Senna and others that, uh, you know, when you look at this on paper, um, you know, a lot of similarities, but a lot of differences as well. Yeah, we've talked about how strong this team has been during the fall season, what they've been able to accomplish. To be here in the finals today is one major accomplishment uh, from Mark Dos Santos especially, but the players also. And we know it's going to be a hard game tomorrow. We know it's going to be a, a really hard fought battle. I think the first 15 minutes, the Fury will have to weather the storm because the Cosmos will probably go at, right at the gates. Uh, it's Raul and Senna's last game. We know that they're going to try to win this game for them. And uh, the 15 first minutes for me are going to be key to this game. Chris, you've been around the team all season long. You've been around the team for the last two years. Uh, what have you seen from the players and the coaching staff in, in terms of the mood heading into this final game of the season? It's loose, you know. I think these guys are excited, probably a little bit of nerves, but you see it out here training the last couple days. Everyone's in a good mood. Everyone's excited. Everyone knows what they've accomplished. Everyone knows that this season, win or lose in the championship final, is a success one way or another. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a lot of nervous energy going into it, but this is a team that's that's been built for this. Mark DeSantos has been talking ever since day one that the goal was to make the playoffs. They made the playoffs. They got through the semifinal, and now they're here. This is what they play for, and they're, they're enjoying it every minute of it, I think. So we've talked about Raul and Marco Senna. Obviously, two of the key players for the New York Cosmos. There's a laundry list of, of great talent on that team, as is there with Ottawa Fury FC. Just want to spend a few moments talking about a few key players that could have a major impact in Sunday's final, starting first with the Golden Glove winner this year, Romuald Pezer. Sinisha, just talk about the importance of his performance once again on Sunday evening. He's He's been a key to this team ever since he came in last year at the half of the season. We know how good how good he was. The stats are talking for themselves. Uh, this guy is, is so important to this team. He's so calm. He's been there ever since the Fury needed him. Like in, in the last minutes of the game uh, on the semifinals, we know that when Tommy scored that goal, it was a huge momentum build for them. But Romu had to make some key saves at the end of that game. And that's been the story all season long. Whenever you need him, he's there to make that big save. He's there to calm everybody down. He sees everything in front of him. He's talking to his defenseman. He's there to make a big difference. And I don't expect anything different for the game on uh, for that championship game. Chris, you know, the success of this team has started from the very back moving forward, but the guy that draws everything in through the midfield is the captain, Richie Ryan. The club has only lost once this season when Richie's been in the lineup. Just talk about the importance of his play going against a very tough midfield in the New York Cosmos. Yeah, it's key. I mean, I've written it I don't know how many times over the last year or two that Richie Ryan's the heartbeat of this team. Obviously, this team is all about the, the sum of its parts, and every player plays a piece, but it really starts with, with Richie in the, in the middle. He can control the pace of any game. He distributes the ball better than anyone else in the league, and uh, it's, it's going to start and end with him. He wants it more than as much or more than anybody on this team, and he's got to be at the top of his game against the Cosmos if they're going to come out with a win in this one. Tom Heineman only had one goal in the spring season. He gets seven in the fall season, two massive goals last weekend in the semifinals. This guy, when he scores, Fury FC haven't lost when he gets on the score sheet. Just talk about the importance of Tom Heineman having another big game uh, for Ottawa. Energy. That's the only word that comes to my mind when Tommy is on the field. Uh, he's he's gathering that energy for everybody else on the team. Whenever he's challenging uh, for a ball, most of the time he's going to win it. If not, he's going to try to win it again the, seat, the, the moments after. And everybody on the team is is motivated by how how intense he is. Uh, we can question sometimes his finishing in front of the goal, not always at his best, but he always gets himself into those positions. And that's what that's what the positive thing is, because Mark has been saying all season long, if you get those chances, that's what's going to happen. And we, ne we can never, ever question Tommy's intensity and Tommy's ethic at work, 100%. 
Chris, last one for you. Just looking at the coaching matchup between Mark DeSantos and Giovanni Savarese, uh, we heard a lot from Mark DeSantos yesterday at the press conference. Mark just being Mark, and uh, you know we talk about how the how loose the players are, and I think that starts with the head coach as well. It does, and Mark's brought that ever since he's been here. Anyone who follows the team regularly, especially the media, knows that he's always quick with a great one-liner that leaves us in stitches more often than not. And I think just going into this game, it's a, the best coaching matchup you can get. You've got a, a guy like Savarese who obviously knows what he's doing. And these two guys have so much respect which, between the two. You watch them at the press conference, they're shaking hands, they're giving each other a hug. The players have that same respect for each other. It's two competitors that want to destroy each other on the pitch, but when they're off the field, they're, uh, you know, they, they respect what each has accomplished, and that's going to make this that much more fun to watch. It's the spring season champions against the fall season champions from Hofstra University. You can uh, catch everything that Chris Hoffley has to say about it in the Ottawa Sun, and you can hear Sinisha Syndic with a call on Unique FM. For Ottawa Fury FC, I'm Graham Ivory.